Let the horizontal axis and or x-axis represent the number of seasons, which it shows in this right here, in the graph. And the y-axis is viewers in millions. Uh, then the graph, then graph the ordered pairs. So we've already given you the ordered pairs. Uh, a scatter plot is this. It's just a graph of dots of data that are scattered. Is there a pattern to this? Yes. What is the label for the x-axis? Sadie? Weeks. Very good. And then what is the label for the y-axis? Brent? Wait. Okay, so just so you guys remember, if you guys see some form of time like weeks, always the x-axis, okay? Uh, and now we can graph these. This is a very nice. Zero weeks is at six pounds. And uh, then at uh, hmm, nine weeks, 8.6, so maybe right here. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's all right. <coughs> and uh, so I should erase that. There we go. 18 weeks, you got a 10, so, you know. And 27 and 13.6. Yeah, somewhere in there. 34 and 15. Bam. 43 and 17.2. And 49 and 19.8. Bam. You guys see a pattern here? Yeah. Yes. yeah, there's a pattern. There's more weeks. Emily, do you see a pattern? Yes. Good. Okay, didn't you? If we have a graph like this, and we've got our x and y axis, and we have a bunch of points on this graph. Okay. Uh, what would be the relationship of x in comparison to y? What's the relationship? It's going up. Emily? This would mean that it is a positive relationship. See, because it's going up. That is positive. Well, on the other a different type of graph. Oh. Maybe in this case, uh, I don't know. Maybe the points are going like at these. Is there a relationship there? No. Emily? Yes. What is it? Do you know? Negative. Bam, negative. You guys understand why this is negative? Very good. Because of its color, it is going downward. Okay. Because of its color. I mean, I'm sorry. No, wow. I said that wrong. I, no, that <laughs> completely, only slightly relevant. Yes? What if it goes up and it drops? That's a good question. Well, let's look at that type of graph. If you have a point like this, that's just way out here, it may be still compar comparing the two things, but this is what we would call an outlier. Right, so you kind of just ignore it. Okay, because otherwise, if we were to consider it, you'd say, well, maybe there's no association here. But most of the points are on this, I don't know, downward slopage. Uh, but this one's just way out there. So it's out liar. Uh, there is, there, well, well, let's find out, okay. So let's say something like this here, Grant. So it's going up. And then as it goes up, it eventually comes down like a these. Something like this? Is there a relationship here? Emily? No, there's a there's an association there. 
There it is. Is that? Plus negative. Okay, yeah. It's uh, this one since it goes up and then it comes down. Okay, it go the it starts out with a positive relationship, and then it changes to a negative one. It just means that it's not linear. That's all. Sadie. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so this one just means that it's not linear. There you go. This one. So we're going to have a graph like a these. And we got some points like a these. All right, what's the relationship uh, in this graph between x and y? Dawson? No association. No association. Bam. Listen, you don't have to write no association because there's a lot of writing there. Just put none. Okay. That means that the relationship uh, of X is not related to Y. So, for example, maybe unicorns and leprechauns, right? The number of unicorns will never depend on the number of leprechauns. Okay, or the amount of beef consumed compared to shoe size. Well, there might be a correlation there. Maybe uh, pork consumed to hair color. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. It's, it's a well-known Is it because there's more weeks every week? Um, well, there's more pounds every week, yeah. Oh, well, I just didn't pay attention to see the pounds. Next time, pay attention, okay. Right, excellent. Uh, here's the thing is, uh, if we look at this, uh, okay, all this is saying is, uh, let's go in these examples. See, you could draw a line through these points like these, and this one could be that. This one, you couldn't, there's no association there, so there's no line involved, but this one, you could draw a straight line. This one is kind of weird, right? So that's why it's not linear. Same with the other one that we did, right? We had our two axes and it kind of went up and down, right? Would that be nonlinear? 